Hello and in this video, we are going to learn how to add or remove a blank row after every data row in Excel at once. So I have a simple list here and for some reason my boss just wants me to add a new blank row after every row. Now of course we can do it manually, just right click and then insert, but it could be quite tedious and the longer the data in our table, um, the longer it takes. So let me show you a simple trick to do it. Okay, so first we need to create a new um, column. Uh, let's just call it order. Okay, and now we will um, create a simple list, one, two. And then double click. Okay, one to 12, done. So next we will copy and paste the list to the cells below it. Now, here's a trick. Go to the new column and just select so smallest to largest. And we're done. Now you can see that there's a new blank row after every row and we only need to do it once, no matter how small or how big our table is. Okay, so now we can uh, click on the, the additional column and then just press delete. So, okay, one is done. Now next, let's learn how to remove the blank row after every row. Now this is uh, a quite common scenario because whenever we uh, add, uh, whenever we copy and paste the data onto Excel, uh, in a lot of cases, the default is that there's a blank row after every row. For example, if uh, our data originates from another application like Word, or PowerPoint, or Outlook, or some external database, then uh, this is what we get when we try to, to import it into Excel. So here's what we can do. First, Control A to select the entire table. Now, Control G to open the Go To dialog box. Uh, select Table 1, which is the current table. Go to Special. Go select Blanks and press OK. And now all the blank rows have been selected. Now all we need to do is to right click, delete, delete table rows. And that's done. Another way we can do is to select the entire table. Go to data, go to remove duplicates. Okay, let me try again. Data, remove duplicates. Okay. And basically what remove duplicate does is that it will keep the first unique value, which is the first blank row, but then for all the other blank, blank rows, thereafter it will delete it. So now all we need to do is to click on the remaining blank row, delete, delete table row, and that's done. 